everyone, this is the beginning of Unit 5, and Unit 5 is all about similarity. So this is a, a picture here that it's a pretty uh, simple, straightforward example of what similarity is. So we have the purple triangle, triangle ABC, and the blue triangle XYZ, and this little similarity sign here. So it's kind of like the just the top of the congruent symbol, so the congruent symbol without the equal sign. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. So this is 5.1 similar figures, and in this lesson, we're just going to do um, really the basics of, of what similar figures are, and then writing some similarity statements. So we're going to start out with the definition. So similar figures, um, a little bit like congruent figures, they are the exact same shape. Okay, and with that, they actually have the exact same angle measures. The difference between similar figures and congruent figures is that similar figures have different sizes. So basically, you're going to have a little shape and a big shape, or a big shape and a little shape. So I have an example over to the right. Um, those are trapezoids. And to just talk about things in a little bit more detail, let's label the vertices. So let's go A, B, C, D, and let's just go W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, and I'm just going to throw out some random angle measurements here. These aren't really going to be uh, perfect, but maybe we'll go with like... That guy's about 80 degrees, and that guy's about 80 degrees, and then maybe this one's like 100 degrees, and this one's 100 degrees. Okay, now the same would have to be true for the blue one. We would have to have 80 and 80 and 100 and 100 degrees. So all of the angles um, are going to be congruent from one figure to the next figure. Okay, the sides, though are going to not be congruent to each other, but they're going to be proportionate. So maybe we have like 8 and 4, and maybe another 8 and another 4, and then maybe down here we have like 10 and 5, and then maybe up here we have like 6 and 3. So if you pay close attention to those numbers, um, you'll notice that the small figure is exactly half as big as um, the bigger one. And it's not always half. Um, but in this example, where I just kind of chose easy numbers, um, it's half as big. Each side of the blue figure is half as big as each side in the big figure, in the, in the purple one. Okay, so if we were writing a similarity statement, this should be pretty easy since we're, we just came off of working with congruency statements. So same idea, you just need to make sure that you put your letters in the correct order. So it's not a triangle, so we're not going to use a triangle sign on this one. We're just going to go with figure a b c d so we can just use the four letters is similar to and then just make sure we go in the same order so if we went this way around we need to make sure that we go this way around so w x y and z okay so what that tells us um, is that our similar figures have congruent angles right so there's, in this case, four congruent angles. Okay, so if we wanted to list a couple of them, we could say angle A is congruent to angle W. And we could say that angle B is congruent to angle X, and so on, okay? Similar figures also have proportionate sides. Okay, and we talked a little bit about uh, what proportions are already, um, but basically from that similarity statement, we can say that AB to WX is equal to BC to XY. which is equal to CD to YZ, 
And finally, that's equal to AD to WZ. Okay, so congruent angles, proportionate sides. We'll dive deeper into those things later, um, but in this first lesson, we just kind of want to expose you to all the things that are coming up in this unit. All right, so diving into this first example. So this time we do have triangles. Take a second to get these in your notes. Um, we have uh, triangles with these three different angles. And again, let's put some letters on here. So let's go, I don't know, K, A, M, and P, R, T. I'm just randomly making up letters. So if we're going to write a similarity statement, this time, since we're dealing with triangles, we can use the triangle sign. And it doesn't matter how we start. I'm just going to go with, um, I'm going to go from smallest angle to middle angle to biggest angle. So I'm going to go A, M, K. Okay. And that's going to be similar to, now I'm going to make sure I go in the same order on the second triangle. So I went from the 20 degree angle to the 50 to the 110. So T R P triangle T sorry, T P R T P R like so. Okay. So which parts are congruent? The angles are congruent. So angle a is congruent to angle T and we can see that here's a it's 20. Here's T it's 20. Okay. Also, Angle M, since it's in the middle, is congruent to angle P. So let's just check that. We got 50 and 50. Okay. And then lastly, angle K is congruent to angle R. Okay. Those, those parts, those angles are congruent. Now, which parts are proportionate? I didn't give us any numbers at all for sides, but we can still tell which parts are proportionate. So I'm just going to go in the same order. So I'm just going to go with AM and TP. They're proportionate. So AM and TP are proportionate. Okay. They are going to be equal to the same exact ratio as MK is to PR, which is equal to first and last, first and last, whatever AK and TR are. All right, and that's all we really need to, to know for now. I'm not going to go any deeper than that right now. All right, and then example two, and this is what um, your worksheet and your mastery check is going to look like, so this is an important one. Um, so this time we do have some side lengths given, and we are supposed to complete the congruency statement. So what I would do on these ones is I would label the sides as like shortest, medium, and longest. So 49 is our shortest side and 70 is like our middle side, and then 77 is our longest side. And then do the same thing for the second triangle. So find the shortest side, looks like it's down here, and then our middle side is here, and our largest side, our longest side is right there. Okay, now look at how the similarity statement um, was started. They started with triangle RST, so we started here, and then we went here, then we went here, and then we obviously have to come back. So the order that we went in is we went through the longest side, then the shortest side, and then the middle. So we went, I just kind of write this here, long, then we went to short, and then we ended with middle. So we need to make sure that we go in that same order when we're completing our similarity statement. So long, short, middle. That would mean we would need to start here at C, Go long, short, middle. So C, D, E. All right, so it's just a little tougher than it is with the congruent triangles because there's, there's less information. Well, there's not less information, but there's less easy information to see because um, all of the numbers are different. We got 70 and 49, and 77 and 30, and 21 and 33. Um, there's a lot going on, but if you just make sure that um, you label them with with how big they are, then I think that makes writing those a little bit easier. Okay, um, so in summary, um, biggest thing that you need to remember all unit, this will come up over and over and over since it's a similarity unit. Similar figures are the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. Same shape, 
same shape and different sizes. All right.